you guys I'm back with another video as you can see I've already been working here tonight so I thought I'd, I had some leftover resin that I'd like to use up so I'm going to do an ocean pour on this adorable surfboard so this is an MDF surfboard I've already taped the back and I taped the whole back just so that you know things like this don't get on the board because it was on that cup. So this MDF board um, I got from Deborah, my friend, but um, it's our, our, we use the same guy to cut our boards. He cut my mermaids. He cuts all my rounds for me. Um, I love my guy. He's the best guy and I'm lucky to have found him. So uh, he cut out these boards, these surfboards for Deborah, and I said, Deborah. I gotta have some of these. I gotta try out these surfboards. So I'm trying the, her surfboards and she's gonna be trying out some of my mermaids. So um, yeah, so what I have here is um, three blues, starting with U Resin's Deep Ocean is the darkest one. And then I have U Resin Sapphire and then U Resin Turquoise. And then I'm going to do some waves, some white waves using winter white. Now, all of this stuff I bought from Deborah's website, which is resinpigmentcanada.com. I'll put that information in the link below for anyone who'd like to buy any of this. Um, this stuff is the best stuff I've ever used. And I'm not just saying that to promote Deborah, but for real, I've used all kinds of whites. I've used white powders, white pastes. I've used all kinds, but for me, this is the best that I've used that makes beautiful lacing and cells when doing an ocean pour. So you'll see when I'm, when I'm done. All right, so let's get started. I've already mixed my resin because I was working on other stuff earlier. So I had a bunch left over. So I am without getting resin all over my heat gun. All right, so let's pour our blue down here start with the dark this is such a beautiful rich color I cannot even tell you it's my favorite favorite color in the whole wide world I love blue I'm born in September so that's the first reason why I like blue um, but it's just such a stunning color all right so my resin is a little on the getting to be not tacky but I mixed it a while ago so I'm kind of working on borrowed time but that's okay because once I blast it with the heat gun we'll be okay all right so next color I'm going to add all right hopefully I have enough of these if not I still have some resin left over I obviously mixed too much tonight, but that's okay. I will always find something to resin. And if worst case, I don't have anything, then I just take one of my completed canvases and instead of varnishing it, I will resin it instead. So I will always find something to use resin on. Never, ever, ever throw away resin. That's like a sin especially when it's so expensive. All right, last color. Let's add this nice turquoise. All right. Oh, I just cracked the cup. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Now, normally I would... Um, prime my board but I didn't want to have white showing through um, if I had time I would have probably maybe painted um, the board these three colors but yeah I was being lazy and I didn't have time so all right I am going to just heat this up for a sec because it's getting pretty gooey tacky call it what you want All 
All right, so now that I've done that, what I want to do is just want to make sure I get my edges covered here. That way it drips nicely. All right, so the blue is covered. Perfect. I will do this color now. All right, go on this side, make sure the side's all covered. Perfect, and now for the turquoise. All right, and it doesn't matter if the colors blend because I'm, I'm gonna blend them right now anyway. So, plus I'm gonna add the white waves anyway, so. All right. So now I'm just going to blend this a bit, blend these colors just like so. Because you don't want it to look boom, 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 right? You don't want, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun and just kind of mix it again. Kind of get it blended. Perfect. And now I have my white here that I have pre-mixed from my earlier pour. So now I am, let's see. Now you need clear as well if you want the waves to look good. All right. Put a layer here, like so. Okay, this is gonna be awkward because the board is not facing the way I want it to but that's all right. All right, let's see what we come up with. Uh, where else do I wanna put this? Let's try this first. Let's go with that first. So you can see the lacing it, it creates. This is why I love this stuff. Now actually, I'm kind of glad I didn't do the, so I put the white clear, sorry, resin here, and it actually looks darker now. You can see it looks darker than this one. So it almost looks like it's wet sand actually, and I kind of like that look. And because I kind of already got some up there, because um, I goofed, I'm going to add a little more since I have so much more space still at the top of my board. So like, I mean, if you want, you can add um, sand as well. Um, but I actually like the way the board looks just like that. It's already brown. So there's no sense in putting anything on it. Like, I mean, you can if you want, but I kind of like it the way it is. So let's just try that. I love it. That looks, okay, I'm not even gonna touch any more down here. Now, the question is, do I wanna add any white wisps in here? So maybe I'll add maybe one in here. I'm, I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid I'll ruin it though. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, Should I? Um, I don't know. 
what I do want. And maybe I will, uh, I don't know. Maybe then just blow a little. Let me just add another strip of white here. All right, and I'll blow downwards. And then if you really wanted, you can get like little teeny tiny shells, which I have, and you can just plop them on there and then they would stick to the resin and then it'd be done. Actually, I think I might do that now that I'm thinking about it. All right, I think I'm just gonna do one little strip in there, one. All right, one strip, right about here. So we'll do one clear strip. The clear really helps um, with the white like, I mean, you don't have to do it, but I find it really helps with the lacing. So let's give that a go and we'll blast it up this way. Heat it up first and then push it. Just like that. Ah, oh, I love it. It's perfect. And my edges are nicely covered and they're dripping perfectly fine. I bought the cutest little shells. Let me get them. Actually, this is gonna be perfect. Look how teeny tiny these are. Look at that. For something this small, this is perfect. Like, I mean, these are a bit bigger, but I think these little ones will be perfect. So I'm gonna actually take my gloves off so that I can actually grab these little guys. So believe it or not, I bought this from the dollar store. Dollarama. Um, so they were a buck 50. Um, Wait a second. Oh wait, I thought maybe the cork was glued in. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, it is, but I pulled it off. Look at that <laughs> little cork in there. I better be careful I don't drip anything in there because that'll be really crappy. Um, yeah, I think these are supposed to be for decorative purposes, but look how small they are. This is like perfect. So, let me find my tweezers. Do Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. So I'm gonna use my tweezers. Ooh, look at this one. It's like a little pinky color. And I'm just gonna go drop it, <laughs> kind of, maybe. Drop it right in there. And then it'll stick to the resin and then it just won't move once it dries. It'll be done and stuck there. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh my God, I almost dropped it. Can you see that? Anywho, I'll put them down and then I'll bring you in for a close up. But this is, oh my God, these things are perfect. This is perfect. Um. Anywho, I won't bore you with me placing shells, so I'll just do another one here. My tweezers must be dirty because they are sticking. My shells are sticking. Anywho, all right, I'm gonna play with this a bit more, but for now, I'll bring you guys down so you can see. Come on. How cool this looks. All right, let me put these back. So you get the idea. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, let me bring it down. Okay, perfect. Oh, my phone is sticky. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Let me see if I can go this way. Look at the lacing. So let me, hold on, let's go this way. 
So I'm gonna put a few more shells, maybe some over here, but this is the lacing I'm talking about with using this winter white that I buy from Deborah. Oh, stupid shadow. Sorry guys, there we go. So check out that lacing. Like that's pretty cool. And even this one here. Uh, so I love this winter white. All right guys, that is my surfboard. Pretty cool, eh? I'm loving it. So it's actually 18 inches as well. So 18 inches from tip to bottom. So let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post new videos. Check out my links below to all my social media. I also have Amazon shop links. So if you want to know where I buy my heat gun or, you know, things like my level or my torch and that kind of stuff, check out. I have a U.S. shop and a Canadian shop. So go over there and check it out and buy whatever it is you need. And my PayPal link for anyone who'd like to donate to uh, my PayPal so that I can buy supplies and do more tutorials and more videos. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Until next time, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye.